wear your mask, wash your hands, mind your business, drink your water. Well, you can tell this is my first get ready with me. I forgot to spray my face. What's up everybody? And today I am going to be doing a get ready with me thing that's going around. I can't say the word because I'm not for sure if YouTube will get on my case about it. So I've been seeing that a lot lately. Like they've been pulling down videos where it has that word in it. I will be doing my makeup. Get ready with me. So I've already primed my face, so I'm just gonna start in and conceal. I wonder can I even say virus? I must do, I'm gonna just say virus. With the virus that's going around, I won't say the name. I wind up getting it. And so to start off, like with my experience with the virus, I first started off with a headache. And I didn't know that that was one of the symptoms of you know the thing i don't have allergies or anything like that so i mean i just like and i never really get sick so i just kind of like kind of like just like brush it off like maybe i just got a headache you know and then a little bit after that it moved to a scratchy throat the scratchy throat turned into a cough i didn't know that none of these symptoms were like symptoms of the thing like, I didn't know that. I thought it was just like, um, you lose your taste and that you get a fever. So, first day back to work, I did my pre-trip. After it, I was winded. Like, I was really exhausted and tired. And it was just weird because I'm, like, most of the time I'm like an energizer buddy. I'm always staying up and I have so much energy. Just go, go, go. And I was just exhausted. My eyeballs were literally felt like they were gonna pop out of their head. I just felt like really tired. Like I didn't have a cough then. Like the cough came later on. So I realized that I might have the thing. And I realized like I wasn't really feeling that well, but not enough to like really notice. I just thought like maybe it's my period coming or maybe I don't know, the weather's changing or something like that. At first I think I first started noticing it two days prior. So that was like Sunday. So it was like Sunday, Monday, and then Tuesday was my first day back to work. I felt sick, like I couldn't finish my duties. So I told my coworker like, hey, you know, I really don't feel good. Like, I don't think I can, you know, finish working today. And she didn't feel good either. Like she, uh, she assumed that, you know, she had allergies and I don't get allergies. So I was like, I don't have allergies i don't really get sick and the thing about it is which i which i um i had told her was that i like it was just also it was this like weird feeling in my like stomach like it was weird like it wasn't like i had an upset stomach or anything it was just like like I, I, it was nausea that's what it is that's another symptom on the list for the thing so I, I guess I was nauseous and I didn't even like really realize it that much until it started getting worse and worse. And also I noticed it because I like it was like a familiar feeling like I felt this feeling before back in February when before before things like really popped off in the United States. Because I believe that it's been here for a while. It just took us a while to like catch up to it i don't i don't hardly ever get sick so i don't have a primary doctor which is I need to work on that i need to get a primary doctor but i don't ever hardly get sick so i don't have a primary doctor so i wind up signing up through walmart shout out to walmart and i got my testing done through there and it takes like a few days they said to like the lady said you know she expected like on a Friday to the test results to come back. So, uh, you know, like I don't feel good. I have to wait, you know, and I have to stay quarantined in my room until I get my test results back. Uh, I kept on falling asleep so much. Like, if you know me, like I'm always up and I'm always doing stuff, but I could not, I could not stay up for anything. Like I was just constantly falling asleep. It was so annoying. 
the symptoms just keep on changing. Thursday, my cough kind of like, it was still there, but it kind of went away. My chest started to get tight. Like it was just felt really, like, really tight. Not in a painful way, just like in a tightness way. Like it just needs to like loosen up. My coworker had told me that, hey, the doctor told me that I have pneumonia. And she's like, you probably should, you know, go to the doctor to see if you have pneumonia too. And, you know, you, you just can't get over pneumonia. You have to go to the doctor. Because if I didn't feel anything, I would have just stuck it out and quarantined and been in my room and stuck it out. But that is not what happened. Like the first night, I just kind of got through it. Because I have a pretty high pain tolerance. And I think that I know that most of the time like i could just you know i stick things out i just like get through it stick it out because you know got to it was making me kind of worry especially when you watch tv and you're like you see people are dying and like just to be sure you're like well shoot well let me like you know get ahead of this so nothing bad happens and you know like what if I do have pneumonia so like all through the night I kind of felt the tightness like it kind of like woke me up a bit like I knew it was there you can't ignore it like it's so tight you can't ignore it but it's not so tight that it hurts I'm gonna be going in with my James Charles palette so I try to make a doctor's appointment and for anybody out there who doesn't know if you think you have the thing they will not see you, okay? Nobody will see you. Nobody nobody wants to see you. Nobody wants to see you. Nobody wants you in their premises, in their building. None of that. They don't want it. The only place I could go was to the ER to be seen. So Friday, I go to the ER. By this point, I have already found out that my coworker has it. So I'm pretty sure that I have it just off of like common sense. And I tell them what I am experiencing. They um, take me in, it was like really quick. And they, the lady checks my vitals and everything and she tells me, you look good, you look, you look fine. And I'm trying to tell her like, look lady, I really, I really do think I got the thing. Like, don't touch me too much. Like you need to back up like girl and she's just like oh honey you look great and she's just like taking my vitals and stuff and telling me how oh I you seem fine you don't look sick and then i tell her about how my chest feels tight you know they do the little thing and they take me to the back and then uh finally get a doctor to see and i tell him all the symptoms and he's like well, it seems like you, you 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 got the thing. And I'm like, yeah, I, I think I got it. That's what I've been trying to say. And they give me another test. This one was not like the one they they like say on the news and stuff. This one is like you have to like spit in it. You have to spit to a certain level. So I spit in this thing, right? They take it and you know they do the little doctor thing. The doctor comes back and he basically tells me, like, look. If you got it, there's nothing we can do to help you. You just like, he's like, that pain is normal. Like, we've been seeing people with that. Like, people get that. And I'm like, oh, shoot. Like, I'm not afraid of them telling me, like, that I have it. Because I'm pretty already sure that I know I have it. It's just the fact that when a doctor tells you, there's nothing we can do for you. Unless you're not breathing. And then, we, you know, we'll put you on a ventilator. Um... Other than that, you just got to stick it through. And I'm like, okay. And then they just give me a Tylenol. And for my chest, they checked my chest and everything. And I didn't have pneumonia. So that's why the doctor was also like, yeah, we think you got the thing. So yeah, like I didn't know that also like when the, with this thing that's going around, it is kind of like similar to bronchitis. In a sense, that's what he told me. So that's why I explained why my chest was like tight. Along with the Tylenol, they also gave me a inhaler. And I've never had an inhaler before in my life. But they gave me this inhaler to use and I had to learn how to use it because I did not know how to use this thing. It did, it helped a whole lot. After I used this like 
probably twice and I just let it sit after a few hours and my chest was like loosening up and it was not tight but like I say within a day my my chest wasn't tight anymore but my cough did come back now I have an inhaler I guess I can keep as memorabilia from 2020 so yeah they give me an inhaler and tell me there's nothing else I can do and they subscribe me some Tylenol and I decided not to pick up the Tylenol. I didn't feel the Tylenol because I already have Tylenol at home and I didn't know how much this Tylenol was going to cost. Around that time when I felt sick, um, Sunday and Monday, whoever was around that day, I let them know like, hey, I'm not feeling good. I think I might have that thing. And I'm just like letting you know. So if you don't feel good, you know, that you can be, you know, alert and cautious so my friend had called me and i had told her like everything and that i literally just came from the er that you know i don't feel too good like i just feel exhausted i guess waiting for results and then right after i get done talking with her i get an email from my first testing when you do the testing through walmart you have to log in to it so i log into it and da 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 of course it's positive ah! i wasn't really surprised it was just like that really sucks you know the that i told was hoping that it was negative and that maybe i was just like maybe it was just the weather or maybe it was just i don't know now i have to stay in my room for two weeks I feel like I had a lot to do in my room because my room is pretty, <laughs> it's pretty lit. But I felt like a, I felt like a mutant. That's why I still tell people, people, people still treat me like a mutant, for real. Nobody wants to be around me and I don't blame them. Sometimes I don't even want to be around me, honestly. Not with this runner going around. Okay, that's good. At least I know. Like, I nipped it in the bud and I didn't, wasn't around a lot of people. I don't touch people anyway like that. Like, I rarely, like, touch a lot of people or too close to people anyway. Like, I keep my, especially nowadays, like, I keep my distance no matter, like, what. Because I just think, like, it's just, like, mad uncomfortable when somebody's so close to you and they're just, like, like, even though I am touchy, like, I like to touch a lot. That was the, the pre- 2020 now i was like you need to stay over there so now it's official i got i know that my test results are positive i got you know i got the thing you know now i'm just gonna keep myself busy in my room and uh, find things to do and <laughs> try not to like lose my mind in my room well i kind of like feel like shit and I uh, keep on falling asleep. The next day, which is Saturday now, I get a call, of course, from the ER telling me that they have some bad news for me and that I do, in fact, have that thing. And I was like, and she was like, Oh, you don't sound surprised. I told her whole backstory with me and, you know, my coworker and everything. And I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of not surprised. My test results just came back from Walmart testing site and that they were positive. So I kind of already knew. So kind of sorry you didn't surprise me. So two positive tests for the thing. So they basically was like, don't leave your house. You need to stay in your house no matter what you do. Don't leave. Don't try to be around. If you live with people, don't try to be around them. Get your rest and stay hydrated and stuff like that. So I was like, yeah, I'm already doing that. Like, I got my inhaler. I'm kind of, you know, I'm getting good now. Like, my chest feels really better. Like, within, like, less than a day, my chest much better, which was freaking insane. That's what a heart attack feels like. I can see how people die from this because I can just imagine like if you really had like, like they say like underlining issues I can really see how people die from this like it's not fake it's not this big I don't even know what people are trying to say like it's made up it's not real it's not it's definitely real it's definitely real like, imagine being sick with a thing and you look at the tv 
and you literally see people like saying that this whole thing is fake and that they're throwing down their mask and that they're running through the stores acting like damn fools like come on come on sis come on come on bro like what are you doing like and it's people like that people like that i tell you what people like that when they get it they don't get sympathy not from me no even beginning of the year i was like I heard there's a thing going around just in case it is true you know i'm gonna keep my distance and i'm gonna wash my hands even more than usual and i'm gonna just make sure like you know especially for not just my sake but for other people oh so, yeah so during my quarantine i just like mainly fell asleep i slept a lot because i couldn't even help it i was just like i would literally eat and i would be exhausted like i'd be so exhausted like so annoying like literally couldn't get hardly anything done i like i've never lost my taste before and i didn't know that you could still like kind of taste but i guess that's like losing your taste like i thought you just like when you ate you just didn't taste anything like zero but i didn't know it took me a while to notice that i lost my taste because when i ate things like i ate it but i was never i was never satisfied i was like damn i must have really forgot what this tasted like but no i just i just lost my taste and i didn't know so all through when i was sick i've never gotten a fever i never had a fever like everybody asked me the doctors nurses um screening people asked me like you know do you have a temperature and they're like you know maybe you're not sick i feel like because that is one of the main things you hear on the news that you just automatically think like hey i don't have it because i don't have a fever and i didn't i can still taste food so i don't have it i don't have it but yeah like until i like looked it up like the actual symptoms that it was like runny nose cough scratchy throat um nausea um <clears throat> shortness of breath i didn't know like it was any of that because honestly like you can you can think you have a cold and it get just like worse and worse and all of a sudden you you know you have the rona with everything that is going on 2020 has been a very like <laughs> interesting year to say the least and from my experience i'm just so blessed to not have been like really like like a sick person or had like i guess like they say like underlining issues beforehand it really does pay to be healthy yeah, i hope people really do like take this seriously like it's not a joke or a game or a scam or i don't know like or fake um i hope like people don't try to use it as like political propaganda or anything like that because that's fucking whack i'm gonna go in with some highlighter sorry i did like with me talking like this is my first time doing a get ready with me and um i did not say any of the products that i use but i guess what that that's what that description box is for so so yeah for, mostly for my quarantine like i said i fell asleep i watched some tv i can't really remember what i watched that's kind of sad tv has gotten really lame now i mainly watch youtube Speaking of YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe. And oh yeah, hit that bell notification if you uh, are feeling nice. I forced myself to stay up and I forced myself to do my makeup. When I finally put my makeup on, because I, I didn't do it, like I haven't done anything in days or anything. And I'm not for sure if, it, if this is like a symptom or anything. When I first put my makeup on, it felt like really weird. Like... Like it was like, it was like my face was numb too, if that makes sense. Like, you know, like when you touch your, your face and you know how that feels and, but it's kind of like a numbness, which is kind of freaky. Like it's weird. You're like, bro, am I dying? Like, 
like it's weird it kind of remind me of like maybe if i was like a zombie or something i don't know it's something like that it was along the lines with losing the taste so i feel like when you lose your taste you also lose like feeling in your face too like that same feeling i don't know it's weird i can't explain it so that is my story of having COVID and beating COVID. It makes you really like grateful for the opportunity to live, which some people don't, you know, and to, and to the opportunity to get better, which some people didn't have. I have the opportunity to be, like live another day and be healthy. I guess that's the biggest takeaway from that. So it's a serious matter and nobody ever thought that 2020 or any year or like would be like this. Like it's unimaginable. I'm going to end it with some highlighter. So that is my um, experience with the thing. And um, I hope I never have to go through that ever again because that is really scary and exhausting and just like what the heck was that all that time at home and i couldn't even get anything done like this makes me so mad i feel like i really am storm not just for halloween either like in life i think i am storm so don't forget to like this video and subscribe and comment below and um hope to see you guys next time on a different topic a happier topic and um I just hope to see you again. Bye. <laughs> Only see in one eye. And it's this one. No, it's this one. <laughs> Me and Paws give you social distance hugs. <laughs>